Hi everyone, good day. Today in our video, we'll be talking about educational, which is actually for your kid and for yourself. Now, if you're new to our channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, like this video, and please share this video to, to your friend. And also guys, please do not forget to click the notification bell but I always come on our device and have them in our videos in the app, for example. And also guys, we have a new feature in our YouTube channel, which is the join button. If you wish to show your support and love to us, please go ahead and click the join button. This time's a press that you can know we will receive you guys. So guys, let's dig into this topic and I'm sure that you will enjoy this. Please do not forget to share this video and it's Kiddos, fun. today we're gonna learn about a personal narrative. Now, what is a personal narrative? Well, a personal narrative is a true story about your life. So, if you wrote a story about anything that has happened to your life, that would be a personal narrative. Now, let's take for example, Japheth wanted to write about when he met his friend Emin. That would be a personal narrative. Or, let's say, maybe he wanted to write about the time that he moved and changed school. That will also a personal narrative. Or, um, another example could be maybe Jafet wants to write about the time he went camping. Now, this is also a personal narrative. So, all the three are actually a great example of a personal narrative. So now, what is in a personal narrative? One of the things in a personal narrative is a story that has a beginning, middle, and end. And you've been writing a story like for a couple of days since you're actually in school, right? So it's something that is, this thing is quite easy to you guys. Now, another thing is a setting. Setting is a very important in a personal narrative so that your readers should know where they are. So you have to describe where you are. And another one thing is the details. You wanted to give a lot of details so that your readers can see where they are or they understand what is happening in the story and you can do this by telling adjectives or using figurative language and many things now let's talk about details a little bit more now we're gonna look at the two different personal narrative here okay now these two personal narrative uh, will only focus on details so they don't have like any settings and this uh, narrative don't have any beginning middle and end okay now I want you to tell me which one do you think has the best detail and we'll talk about that why later okay now I'll be giving you like two example of a personal narrative and you're gonna tell me which better after okay all right so this will be an example for number one I woke up and ate breakfast next to the boss at school there was a new kid at school. I saw with a new kid at lunch. After lunch, we had recess and then science class. After school, I went home and did my homework. Okay, so that will be an example for number one. Number two is, I saw with a new kid at lunch. Today, her name was Becky and she is also from Japan. We talk about favorite movie, Avengers Endgame. After school, um, my mom said I could come to their house and watch more movies. So, which do you think this thing is better? Which one do you think more interesting as you read it? There's like kind of might kind of boring and there's one that is more interesting because it has better details. And it's a number two, right? But why? Why did number two do that number one didn't do? Well, it gives specific details, for example. The first example, I didn't say that the kid name was, but example number two says, and it's Becky. And also it says where Becky from and the things they do. So there's a lot of details in it. Now, even though this story is just a very short story, we can call this like a personal narrative because it doesn't have a beginning, middle, and end, and it doesn't have a setting. But I would say this have a good detail, like tons of details, okay? Like a name, uh, places, and you know, the games that they like, the movies that they like, and what did they do at school. So, um, today, our topic, you're gonna make a uh, personal narrative and the title, A Time When You Met a New Friend. 
Now, when you're writing a personal narrative, always remember that it needs to have a beginning, middle, and the end. It needs to have a setting also and detail so that your re readers will understand the whole story. All right. So I hope that you guys um, like our video and I hope that you understand our video. If you like it, please give, it, give me a comment, thumbs up, and please do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Have a great day, everyone. Bye for now. Thank you.